Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making this beautiful hooded scarf. If that's something you're interested in seeing, please keep watching and we'll get right into the video. For this project, I am using Brunat Premium and this is 4-ply medium weight yarn. I am also using my 5mm crochet hook and some stitch markers for later on. All right, so grab your supplies and let's get started. Okay, to begin, you wanna make a chain wide enough um, for your scarf. It, and it will be in an odd number. So I think ideally about four to seven inch, sorry, about five to seven inches wide would be good. But it's totally up to you if you want to make it more wide or or make it narrow but as long as you start with an odd number of chains I have 27 chains right here and for row one you want to skip the first um, stitch from the hook and half double crochet into the second and then one half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. And that will give you an even number of stitches. So I will end with 26 stitches after I have completed row one. So go ahead and complete row one and I will meet you at the start of row two. So just one half double crochet in each chain all the way to across begin to row the end. two you're gonna start with a chain three one two three which counts as a stitch okay and turn your work around you're gonna skip the next stitch and then into the second stitch put two sorry three double crochets okay now skip two stitches one two and into the third three double crochets and again skip two spaces and into the third one double sorry three double crochets and then skip two spaces and into the third three double crochets and that will be the repeat for this row so keep going and I will meet you at the end of this row. All right, so finishing up my last group of three right there. Then I have two stitches remaining. I will skip the first stitch and into the very last one, I will put one double crochet. So if you notice at the beginning and end, we only skip one space, but everywhere else in between. So we skip one space before we started our cluster of three then we skip two spaces as we went along and then at the end we only skip one space so only on the ends we skip one space everywhere else it's two spaces between each cluster of three if that makes sense okay so now for row three chain one turn and in that first stitch this first stitch where our double crochet is you're gonna put one single crochet okay and then the next stitch where the clusters are you're gonna put one front post double crochet around that first stitch of that cluster one single crochet into the middle stitch then another front post double crochet around the third and that's that's the first cluster of three now move over to the second one and repeat so front post double crochet around the first stitch of that cluster the middle stitch a single crochet in that stitch and then the last stitch of that cluster is a front post double crochet again so that will be the repeat for this row front post double crochet single crochet into the center one and then another front post double crochet around the third so working in groups of threes front post double crochet around the next 
single crochet into the center one, front post double crochet around the last one in that cluster. All right, so go ahead and complete row three and I will meet you at the end of this round. All right, so coming up to the end of row three, I have done my last front post double crochet and then into the top of the chain three space, I'm going to put one single crochet to end this round. So again, we end with one single crochet, just like how we started with one single crochet on this end. Okay, and now for the next row, which is row four, you will chain three to start, turn your work around, and then you will find the center stitch of the first cluster right here, and then that will be where we put our single crochet. Into that single crochet, you will put three double crochets. just like so. Now move over to the next cluster of three from the from row two down here and then find the single crochet above and put three double crochets. Okay so again move over to that center um, single crochet space and put your three double crochets into that single crochet into the top of the single crochet move over to the next cluster and do your sing your three double crochets so for this row we are putting three double crochets into the top of the single crochet of the previous row right and again three single crochet. I'm all the way, almost to the end so might as well just do this all the way through. Okay move over and three three double crochets one two and three and in the last single crochet off the last cluster three double crochets and then on the end where we had that one single crochet you put one double crochet to end this row so we started with a chain three which counts as a double crochet on this side we end with a double crochet just to make sure that things are even on both sides this is the wrong side of your work this will be the right side All right, so the next row that comes after this will be a chain one, turn one single crochet in the first stitch, then we'll go back to doing front post double crochet around the first stitch of the cluster of three, single crochet into the center, front post double crochet around the third stitch of that first cluster. And that is pretty much the same thing we did in in this row down here so for the duration of this pattern you will be repeating row let's say row three and four so you'll repeat row three and row four until you have the desired length of your scarf so again for row four it is the front post double crochet single crochet front post double crochet and then when you get to the end you turn do your chain three, then three double crochets into the center um, single crochet space. So basically, all you're doing is repeating row three and row four over and over until your, your scarf is as long as you would like it to be. Once you're satisfied with the length, just finish with a row of half double crochet just to make sure both ends of your scarf are even. Okay, so go ahead and finish your scarf and I will meet you at that point and we will go on to making the hood. Okay guys, so I have completed my scarf and it is measuring 72 inches long. Okay, so at this point I will fold the scarf into two. So line up both ends together and then I will find the center point on this end. 
right there. So right at the center, I will put a stitch marker to mark my center point. Okay. And then from the center, I will measure 10 inches. So from that point, I'll measure 10 inches down from the center and I will put a stitch marker right there. And then on the very opposite side, I will add another stitch marker. You can remove the one from the center since you won't need it. Or you can put a third one. Totally up to you. All right. So that measurement from one stitch marker to the next is going to be the width of my hood. Okay. So I will be working between these two points. Building um, the hooded part of my of my work. All right, so at this point, I will attach my thread or my yarn. Let me just grab it here. Okay. I'll just make a loop. And I will attach my thread, my yarn right here right where my first stitch marker is and I will chain three and then I will put one half double crochet in in each space all the way across just like so one half double crochet all the way across to the next stitch marker the only thing you want to be mindful of here is to make sure that your stitch count ends in an even number. So I'll just go across with one half double crochet and then when I am done, I will count to make sure I have an even amount of stitches. Okay, so just keep going all the way across to the next stitch marker and then we will move on from there. Alright guys, so I have completed my row of half double crochet across and I have a total of 60 stitches. Okay, so we're now going to be begin doing the pattern as we did for the scarf. So I'm going to start with a chain three, one, two, and three, and turn my work around. Okay. And then I'm going to skip one, two, and in the third space, I'm going to put three double crochets all in that same space. One, two, and three. Then again, skip two spaces, one, two, and in the third, put three double crochets. Okay, and skip two spaces, one, two, and in the third, three double crochets, one, two, three, skip one, two, and three double crochets into the third. And one thing I had forgot to mention before we started on our hood was when I started I started on the right side of my work so I did my row of half double crochet on this side on the right side so you want to make sure that you begin working on the right side so your pattern when you get up here will flow the same way as this and you won't have the hood backwards or wrong side and this side right side so you want to pay attention to that. Okay, so go ahead and complete row two. 
off our hood. So you're skipping two spaces and then putting three double crochets into the third stitch all the way across up until you get to the stitch marker on the opposite side. All right, so keep going and then I will show you the next row and then we'll go on. Okay, so coming up to the end of row two, I have one space remaining and then the chain three space. So I'm just going to put one double crochet into the top of the chain three. So I skipped one space and then one double crochet in the top of the chain three, the chain three to end that round. Okay, now for row three, I'm gonna chain one, turn your work around. And then in that first um, space, you're gonna put one single crochet, and then you're gonna do a front post double crochet around the first double crochet, like so. Then one single crochet into the center one, then another front post double crochet around the third stitch, like so. <clears throat> okay, and now we'll show you that again. So you move over to the next cluster of three. First double crochet, you're going to make it a front post double crochet, like so. Center one is a single crochet. And then the next one, front post double crochet. And again, next cluster of three. First one is a double front post double crochet. The center one, always a single crochet. And then the next one, a front post double crochet. So that will be the repeat for this round. Front post double crochet, one single crochet, front post double crochet. Just like we did for the scarf. The pattern is the same. Like I said, you're just repeating rows two and three until you have the complete height of your hood. I will put the measurement on the screen so you know um, what height I have done because I'm not sure yet and how many rows I did. Okay, so keep going until you have your desired height and then I will meet you at that point and we shall move on from there. All right, guys, so I have completed the height of my hood. And this is, this is measuring at, oh, I think, 11 inches from the top to where those um, half double crochets were. So from the top to where the half double crochets are, I have a total of 11 inches. Okay, so now with the right side on the inside on the inside like so you're gonna put both edges together and we are going to single crochet the top closed so when you fold it into the wrong side should be what's facing you all right so and it doesn't matter what row you end on just as long as you are satisfied with the height of your hood Okay, so, so I didn't make any chains. I just picked up this loop, then go into the stitch on the opposite side, hook the yarn and pull through, hook the yarn and pull through. So just a single crochet. So I will go through both loops on this side and both loops on the other side and single crochet both sides together to close it. Okay, so pick up both loops on both sides and single crochet. And you will do this all the way across until you get to this point and the whole top part is closed. All right, so go ahead and do that and then I will meet you when I have completely closed the top part of my hood and we shall move on. 
Okay, now with both sides closed, this is what I have. So I will just chain one, pull up a long enough loop, and cut off my tail. Just like so. Okay, and now you just turn it inside out. And that's the hood. All right, and now just to give it a more finished look around the edge, I'm just going to reattach my thread. So I'll make a loop. And right at the edge where my hood started, right here, where my stitch marker still is, I'm going to attach my thread. Okay, so I will chain one. And in that first space, these are... It's hard to tell if they're stitches or spaces because we're going around the edge of our work. So in that very first space, I'm going to put one single crochet. Then I'm going to put one double crochet in every space all the way back to the other side. So I hope this part makes sense to you. So I start with one single crochet, then move to one, one double crochet in each space all the way around. It's just to give some sort of shape or some kind of definition to the front of the hood. If you like the hood how it is without the framing, totally up to you. You can stop and don't even have to do this portion but because I want to give it a little bit more of a finished look I'm just going to go around with the with the row of with a ribbed row pretty much so just one double crochet in each space all the way around so keep going and then when you get to the end right where the stitch marker is we will end the same way we begin so one double crochet in every stitch and then in the last one you do one single crochet. All right, so go ahead and complete that. That row of double crochet and then I will meet you at the end of this. All right, so just coming up to the last double crochet in this row and then right where my stitch marker is, I will put one single crochet just like so. All right, and now chain one, turn, and then in the first double crochet, I'm going to put one front post double crochet, then in the next one back post double crochet, just to give my, the, the um, edge off of the hood a little bit of a ribbed edge. Okay, so it's just one front post double crochet, one back post double crochet, repeat, all the way across. Just so the front of the, the front of the hood has some, some sort of a definition. And then that is pretty much it. So go ahead and complete one front post, one back post, repeat, one front post double crochet, one back post double crochet, repeat, all the way across. And then when you get to the last stitch, you put one single crochet, and that is pretty much it. So go ahead and finish this row, and then I will meet you at the end. All right, so coming up to the end, I have done one single crochet. I'm just going to chain one and turn. And this will be the last row. So again, it will be front post, double crochet, back post, double crochet, but... We ended with a front post, so we are going to start the next row with a back post double crochet. So we're just following the pattern as in the previous row. So back post double crochet, then front post double crochet. And then back post double crochet. Then a front post double crochet. And I will repeat that all the way across the front of my hood. And that will be my last and final row. Okay, so 
go ahead and complete this row one back post double crochet one front post double crochet all the way across and I will meet you at the end of this row all right guys so all I did was uh, did my last single crochet chain one pull up a loop and cut off my tail I thought I was recording but I wasn't but that's all that's all I did after I finished that row and that is pretty much it if you want to make your border this part wider you can keep going but I think for me that's that's enough um, yeah I think this is enough anyways that is it for this tutorial I pretty much need to just weave in my ends and that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I will see you in another video